Hi, I'm Mitch Nash, and this is Cooking with Mitch, episode three. Um, as you can see here, we have all the ingredients out, and what we're going to be making is a turkey burrito bowl, which is it's perfect um, for those times when uh, you're hungry and uh, you've got you got friends over, and you wanna, wanna you wanna serve them food. Minced turkey. That's not on the table. Well, it's not here. All right, fine. I'll, I will find it. I'll go find it. You get the wrist for one thing. What? Uh, our last ingredient is minced turkey. Eh, we get the minced meat turkey. In the strangest of places. Thanks, Greg. All right, so we're on to step one, which is preparing, preparing the food. Now, thanks to one of our gracious sponsors, Pension, we now have the handy cam. That's right, it's back. A fan favorite. First step is I'm gonna boil some water. Just gonna do about a cup and a quarter. That's good. And we'll just turn that up to high. We have to have them. And we're gonna use this big knife here. Now to do this properly, you should not cut your fingers. If you do, you've done it improperly, and that's bad. That's not good for your fingers. I'm gonna try to freehand these last couple ones. Ah! Next up we're gonna zest and then juice the limes. So I'm just using a zesting uh, machine here. Are you sure you're supposed to use this? I thought the zesting holes were smaller. It's definitely not the right machine because this looks like a motorcycle accident. So we've zested the lime, now we gotta juice it, which means I gotta cut it in half. We're just gonna squeeze it by hand. Mm. How much juice are you supposed to get? Now we're gonna slice our green onions. I don't think I diced anything. Next up, we're going to finely chop the cilantro. Cilantro is really good at bringing out the vibes and the really it really brings a solid energy to the um, the whole experience. All right, so now we're going to go on to chopping board number two. All right, the reason we're peeling it is because the avocado skin is uh, trash, garbage, and we need to annihilate it. As you can see here, the skin comes right off because it's uh, just one of those things. Hmm. Now we're going to pit the avocado, which means we have to cut laterally. It's harder than it looks. I'm gonna try hand pulling the pert. Ha, ah, easy. Now we gotta get the, get the pit out. Next step is uh, we cut these into quarter inch pieces. Something like that, quarter inch. It's slime town. Our next step, which is our last step in terms of this preparation, is we're going to crush the garlic. Hear that crunchy, beautiful crunch sound? There we go. So now that we've uh, crushed the garlic, we're going to put it in the garlic press. Garlic puree. That concludes our preparation, as you can see here. And now we're good to start creating beautiful food. Now we're on to step two, which is the cooking of the rice. We can add the rice to the pot. Make sure you put this somewhere safe. Like over there, we add the basmati rice. Perfect. Every last drop of grain. And put it up to 12 minutes. Now we're gonna put the pan around right the burner and we're gonna turn it up to medium high heat. Boom. We're gonna use a half tablespoon of oil. So this here is about a half tablespoon. Yep, now it's time that this is snapping to put turkey on there. Oh, jeez. All right, we're gonna use a spatula. Holy Toledo, that's sizzling. That's jumping everywhere. And the bunk buddies. Holy crap, oh my God. While we're doing this, uh, within a couple seconds, the rice should be finished. Would you look at that? There. Now the turkey is cooking behind me. We're gonna add some corn, we're gonna add the Mexican seasoning, we're gonna add the garlic, and we're gonna add a two tablespoons of water. Gonna do my mouth trick here again. And boom. Get in the pan. Now we're going to add this seasoning. <laughs> now we have this garlic, and my assistant is helping me here. I put the water in too slow. And now a quick word from our sponsors. 
Here I am outside the horse racing track to let you know that I've lost a lot of weight. It's legal now. Thank you, and now back to our programming. So now we're on to step five where we're gonna do lime crema and pico de gala. So that this comes back in the frame. Shit, it's over. This is the lime crema, so we're gonna start with sour, sour cream. Half the lime juice. Half the lime zest. To mix it, you just wanna be gingerly. You gotta really get in there. And eh. so next up is our pico de gala. We're gonna put in all the tomatoes, half of the cilantro, half of the green onions, and all of this avocado dough. Place it between your hips and the counter. And you're just gonna slide in the avocado. The avocado. And you're gonna wanna pepper in the tomatoes. Pep, 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 pep. And then we're doing half the green onion and half of cilantro. You want to add the remaining lime juice in there. So we're on to step six which is finishing and serving. Adding the lime zest. Then we add the cilantro, sort of cilantro, sorry. You're just gonna wanna chop them right in there. This fluffing action uh, makes, uh, fluffs the rice up. That's why it's called fluffing. Now we're adding Pico de Ga Galileo onto, uh, onto this. What you're gonna wanna do is just let it slide right off of your pan. Bon Apple tea. All right, so that's two tricky burrito bowls, unless you can see their plates, and that's it. Now they're ready to serve to your friends, to your family, to your neighbors, to your uh, fr friends. And that's been Cooking with Mitch, episode three. I'm Mitch Nash. I hope you learned something about cooking, and I'll see you next episode. Thank you.